What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and we have a pretty serious news story today. Now, last night Vice dropped the Dark Side of the Ring documentary series 3 episode 1 I believe, which was about the plane ride from hell. Now if you don't know what the plane ride from hell is, let me give you a brief summary. Back in 2002, WWE hosted a uh, big insurrection pay-per-view over here in London, England. And after that, when all the wrestlers tried to get the plane back to the States, they were grounded on the tarmac on the airstrip for seven hours. And then they had to obviously have the, the flight length on top of that. But that wasn't the only issue. Uh, no, a lot of the wrestlers were drugged up. A lot of them were drunk. And there was a lot of immature just stuff going on. Um, Brock Lesnar and Kurt Hennig were wrestling. Uh, they nearly, they, they went into the emergency door at one point. Michael Hayes had his ponytail cut off. There was, there was a lot of stuff that really, really justifies the name of Plane Ride from Hell. It seemed like an absolute nightmare for everyone involved. And one of the people who was actually being interviewed in this documentary was the main flight attendant on that flight that was mainly in the compartment where everything was going on. Um, and her name is Heidi Doyle. Now, that flight attendant, Heidi Doyle, has actually come out and made some allegations against the nature boy, Ric Flair, 16-time champion Ric Flair. And um, they are serious allegations. Now, it's not just him. She also said that Scott Hall, at one point, and I'll do, I'll do that one first, because obviously that one is... Um, that one's the one that's not really being touched upon, even though in my mind, I think that one is just as serious, if not more. Uh, apparently he was seriously drugged up. Uh, he grabbed her, he was saying some stuff to her, he wouldn't let go of her, uh, including things like, I'm gonna lick you. Um, and you know, stuff that I can imagine as a woman, uh, dealing with a man of, of that, you know, wrestler size must have been terrifying for her. Um, so that was Scott Hall. Um, or Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, you know, that that's that's bad. But then the main story that I want to talk about today is everyone's saying how now Ric Flair is cancelled uh, and it's against Ric Flair, the nature boy, and he should be cancelled because of what happened. Now, Ric Flair has denied these allegations on numerous occasions, but other wrestlers on the Dark Side documentary, um, the way they were talking about it, it sounds like it happened. Um, and Heidi Doyle has actually accused him of standing there naked but wearing his nature boy robe um actually sort of cornering her in the galley which is a very small room um and making her touch his private area which for lack of a better term because there's no way of calling it anything else is sexual harassment sexual assault whatever you want to call it um and it's something that should be taken very, very seriously, which a lot of the wrestlers haven't been doing. There's been a lot of heat going on to guys like Tommy Dreamer and even referee Mike Kyoda because they were just downplaying the situation like severely in the documentary, saying that that's just what the nature boy does. You know, that's his thing. It's, it's you know, someone got offended. It's It's not that deep when it's like, no, guys, you know, 19 years later, poor Heidi Doyle is still thinking about this, um, and I think action needs to be taken. You know, it's disgusting. It is honestly disgusting that something like that would happen. And, you know, people say that's just what it was like at the time. Wrestlers were like that at the time. They were, but that doesn't make it right, and that doesn't give it ex an excuse to be excused today. Um, Ric Flair is obviously... Uh, denied once again. I, he hasn't actually said anything, I don't believe. As of right now, he hasn't made a comment after the Dark Side documentary has been released. But a lot of people have changed their opinion on him. A lot of people are changing their mind on him and saying that justice needs to be served. Which, 19 years ago, apparently, Heidi Doyle actually took a payment from WWE to cover all of this up, which on their half is really bad. Um, but she took this payment and it's only now that she's actually speaking out about it. Um, Jim Ross was another wrestler or wrestling personality that was actually questioned about this and the question is said to him you know why did Ric Flair get away with it and Jim Ross had nothing to say he's you know great question but the only answer he could really give is he's Ric Flair you know he's a made man that's why he got away with it but I don't know. What do you guys think about the situation? If you haven't seen the Dark Side of the Ring documentary, you 100% have to check it out. It is really informative. and It's about 40 minutes long, but it's a great watch. 
definitely go and watch it. Uh, but no, seriously, my opinion on Ric Flair has changed after this, along with other wrestlers, because this is a really serious situation and it is really bad uh, how they are downplaying it so much. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Should Ric Flair be cancelled? I'm not into cancel culture and all that stuff, but I definitely think, you know, there needs to be an investigation or if not an investigation, there needs to be some sort of action taken to put this situation right. It's been 19 years for Christ's sake. Let's do something about it. But once again, watch the Dark Side documentary if you haven't already. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn!